Hello, this is Paul with Logix, your self-taught tech magazine. Hey, today we're going to talk about the difference between technician versus engineer. And it's a challenge. It was for me when I first started my controls engineering career. And I'm sure it's going to be a challenge for you. And I'll, I'll start this off with asking you a few questions. Which one do you want to be, technician or an engineer? Which one should you be first? Which one pays the most? These are some of the questions I hope that help you answer today. And it's very important because it is confusing and there's no easy answers, not on the internet. And it's even more difficult when you ask other people's advice. I'm going to try and share my experiences, give you some insights to this question, technician versus engineer. We're going to go ahead and get started. So. What does a technician do? Let's just start with that. Well, often a technician will install hardware. They will calibrate. They'll troubleshoot it. They say sensor gets installed. Now, an electrician might install the sensor, but they won't calibrate it exactly because you want to tie in your, your laptop and you want to make sure that that sensor is being seen into the PLC. So often the electrician wires it up, make sure that it's working, um, that it's got power. The rest is left to the technician. Um, in a in a standard type of engineering firm, okay, with a standard structure, technicians would play this particular role. Um, they'll calib they'll they'll they may also be the ones who install it, but uh, oftentimes it'll be an electrician, and then the technician will calibrate it, and and then they will also be responsible for troubleshooting it if somewhere in the process, especially during the build, that the the sensor is not functioning. They'll bring out the laptop and ensure that it, that, that it is working correctly. Now, if you're a technician, um, or a PLC programming technician on a production line, you will pretty much perform the same thing. You'll probably have to install the, the device and or electrician will. You'll be responsible for calibrating and troubleshooting those pieces of hardware. Now, in addition to that, a technician is often asked to edit uh, a PLC program, for example, or edit some sort of software. Um, they will calibrate that that software. Um, and and be the difference between calibrating hardware and software, there is a difference. But they'll make sure that that software uh, communicates and is calibrated correctly uh, to the project. Um, and they'll troubleshoot the software as well. If, if by chance you lose communication and uh, between the devices, for example, uh, they will bring that laptop out often and they will troubleshoot that uh, the, the software. They're also one of the, the, the point of contact for communicating to other departments um, in, in relation to uh, programming and automation, um, you know, data that's necessary for the managers of the production lines in particular, um, information that they need to help them make better um, production decisions or better business decisions. Okay, so they, they tend to be that 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 uh, first point of contact. Now, what does an engineer do? Well, often an engineer is, is more involved with designing, specifying, and managing the install of the hardware. They will make sure that they they that we the electricians are familiar with uh, with the electrical prints, all their questions are at answered the hardware the, the machine builders understand how the devices have to be installed correctly or how the mechanics of the machine need to need to be set up for the electrical electronics part of the uh, machine so they'll they'll manage that communication and the expectation throughout those different departments they're also pri the primary source for programming debugging and documentation of the software and the and the the electrical uh, electrical components of the project, okay. So that's very important. They're also prime. They're also one of the primary uh, uh, people who are who will lead training. Although technician does often does a lot of training, but they will they will usually fly in fly in after machines installed, and they will be the point of contact to the customer. In training and, and troubleshooting, updating, uh, and documenting the hardware and the software system, um, to the client. Now, these are what we would call the standard parochial, you know, 
percepts that you would have an electrician, you have a technician, you have an engineer, and that that's sort of the the pipeline, the growth of um, from a beginner to a controls engineer. However, what what this video, what I, I want to do in this video is share with you that that's not always the case. I have known in my particular experience where the technician was the lead and the engineer was the was the junior. And that is part of the discussion for this particular video is uh, those two titles can be a little misleading. OK, just because you're a technician does not mean that you're not going to be the lead on a project. It's very common that a technician would be. The title doesn't necessarily dictate um, the hierarchy in the structure. Instead, what happens is the person's skill set and experience often is what's leaned on to, uh, in relation to a leadership role, often. Um, sometimes some companies will want the tech who has a lot more experience to train and work with an engineer who will be the official lead of the project. But often, if you're the one with the experience, you're the one who, who will be asked to lead the project. And that may mean that as a technician, you're leading the project. And the engineers work with you in a, in a, uh, to support your leadership in this project. All right. So it's very, it's a little confusing. Now, when you go looking for a job, you got to ask yourself, okay, which one do I need to be first? Well, here's what it comes down to. If you have that question, what you need to do is look at the job opportunities that are out there and try and land one of them. And it wouldn't really matter too much which one. Now, for me personally, I had a kind of an ego when I first started. I wanted the title engineer. That's that's when when I got that first job as a en process engineer, I felt I had made it. I got this great job paying good money. I'm, my title was engineer. It was in Chicago. So it was, you know, a very, uh, I was felt very accomplished at that step. However, real life soon kicked in and, and I realized that the title had nothing to do with uh, the type of work that I was doing. Although I was doing engineering level of work, but that's just, that's a different story for a different time. What's most important is find one of those that you feel you can land and get that job. If it's an engineer, when you go to go apply for another job later on, you may, you may have to, you may only be able to qualify for a technician job at that next job. Don't assume because you got an engineer job at this job that you're going to get able to get an engineer job forever. That's not the case. It's going to depend on your skill set. And that's the answer to which one is first. What job openings are there that you are qualified to land? That answers that question. Okay. So uh, that also answers which one's first. I think that the which one's first, if I would add to that, that it, that which one's first is to go to one, land one, rather it's an engineer or technician that you can learn the most from. Okay. That's very important. When you're looking for that job and you're looking at between the two and uh, you may have a, a choice between the two, try to pick one that's going to help you learn the most. Very important. Okay. All right. Now, pay. You would think because an engineer may have a job that says, hey, we want you to have a college degree or we want you to have a lot of experience, that that particular position would pay the most. Again, it really has nothing to do with the job title. It has to do with the responsibilities and expectations of the employer as to which one's paid more. Okay. An engineer might be a junior engineer or a engineer, a new engineering position or um, an engineer that supports a production line, but is not a, a designer, not a <clears throat> person who builds programs from scratch. A technician may do the exact same job. OK, um, they will support the line. They will not design programs from scratch, but. A technician may, in some companies, may be the only technical person in that company who can build programs from scratch, who can troubleshoot, edit, and works with um, cust uh, with customers or clients on products, okay, uh, rather it be machines or, or some sort of end product. So 
uh, in the in the end, the big the big summary of this is it really doesn't matter between technician and engineer. You're going to get paid generally based on your skill set and the expectations of the employer. All right, has a lot to do with it, and the pay is all over the board. Now, I'll give you an example. My first engineering role was for sixty thousand uh, dollars a number of years ago. And I had never held an engineering job prior to that. So at that time, that was fantastic for me. So I'm trying to give you a barometer that you could go by. You know, I went from 40 to 50 to $60,000 in three years. Um, so yeah, I think it was 40, 50, and 60,000 in three years. It can be done and, and it doesn't matter what the, what the title was. I went from technician to engineer. Um, and I made a you know uh, ten thousand dollar a year pay increase, all right. But um, as an engineer in that particular company at that particular role, um, it was a it was a process engineer, and I did some HMI and programming des- and design work from scratch. But um, it was kind of a new role. So anyhow, my point being, it really doesn't matter between the two. Find a job that you can land, that you're qualified to to do, that you can learn the most from. And uh, then work hard to make sure you negotiate for as high a salary as as you feel it's worth. All right? So hopefully I've helped you understand this a little bit, help you discuss the differences between the two. That, But in the end, it really depends on the company, depends on the expectations. Um, You may be a technician or an engineer and do the exact same job and get paid the exact same money, all right? Or technician may make more than the engineer. Just depends on the company and the expectations. I hope this has been helpful. I know it can be a little confusing, and it was to me, and it will be to you unless you get your head wrapped around this just a little bit, all right? So if you have any questions, put them down below. First time here, you guys know what the routine is. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Let me know that you're interested. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions for future videos, I'm all ears. All right. So this is Paul with Logics, your self-taught tech magazine. Keep programming, my friends.